In this video we're going to discuss aortic dissection and aortic dissection can be best uh, presented first with a diagram and here's the diagram I wanted to show and this part shows a, a completely normal aorta and the arrow is referring to the direction of blood flow. Now the dissection is referring to a small tear that happens here in the intima which is the innermost layer of the wall of the aorta and the blood then flows into this part which is a false lumen that's created because of that tear and um, when that happens the blood starts to accumulate between the intima and this layer which is known as the media so that's really what a dissection is and dissections, aortic dissections, are broken up into two types. There's the ascending aorta, aortic dissection of the ascending aorta, which is known as a type A um, aortic dissection. And then there's the aortic dissection of the descending aorta, which is known as type B. The treatment differs uh, for each one, and I'll discuss that a little later on. So now we'll get into um, the topic. Before I talk about symptoms and diagnosis, I wanted to um, discuss just a little bit about uh, risk factors or cause. Why would this happen in somebody? Well, by far the biggest reason is uh, bl high blood pressure, hypertension, uncontrolled hypertension. But uh, some of the other uh, more uh, less common reasons include um, Marfan syndrome and um, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. And these are always on the licensing exams, that's why I mention it. Alright, so now let's talk about symptoms. So if someone does have an aortic dissection, how would they present? They're definitely going to have chest pain, in particular in the precordial region. But it's the way they describe the chest pain that is really uh, classic on a clinical vignette uh, in a licensing exam. Tearing or ripping is the word that they would use. Um, they can also have syncope and they can pass out and they can also have symptoms that resemble um, a stroke or an MI. It's a, it's a very uh, significant uh, presentation and very serious. So what's the diagnosis? Most commonly um, a chest x-ray is done uh, you know immediately but the chest x-ray is not uh, specific. It could suggest a di dissection but to be more specific you have to do something called a TEE and the TEE is a transesophageal echocardiogram. Now the echocardiograms that are normally done are transthoracic where they put the gel on the person's chest and they do the echocardiogram. Transesophageal, uh, for those of you who've never seen one, is when they put the uh, uh, the tube uh, uh, down the person's esophagus and that allows the uh, echocardiogram to be done um, in a way that's more uh, closer to the to the heart and uh, aorta, it gives it's, it gives a closer look. There's more. There's two other uh, tests that are more expensive: uh, CT angiogram, CT uh, angiography, sorry, and um, an MRA, which is a magnetic resonance angiography. So the TEE is probably the best in terms of. This in terms of uh, cost and in terms of uh, being specific to diagnose uh, the aortic dissection. So now we get into the treatment and uh, like I had mentioned previously uh, there's two types of aortic dissection type A and type B and how you treat them uh, depends on which type. So type A if you remember in the diagram was the ascending aorta if the dissection is in any part of the ascending aorta. If the dissection is in any part of the descending aorta, it's type B. So let's say you did the imaging, you did the transesophageal echocardiogram, and you found that it was type B. Well, for type B, the mainstay of, uh, me of treatment is medications, and in particular, beta blockers. And your options uh, include uh, labetalol, metoprolol, and those are the medications that you use in type B. Type A is treated with surgery. It's a surgical uh, treatment, 
and um, it's almost always uh, indicated if the dissection involves the uh, proximal aorta, uh, the first part of the aorta. So that's that's a very brief um, rundown of the aortic dissection topic. I have one clinical vignette that I wanted to uh, go through, and uh, here we go. A 59-year-old man comes to the emergency department with severe chest pain radiating to his back. He says the pain started suddenly two hours ago and is most severe between his shoulder blades. He has no significant past medical history and does not take any medications. Vital signs are a temperature of 96, blood pressure of 160 over 100. Radial pulses are absent bilaterally. An electrocardiogram demonstrates sinus tachycardia with a rate of 100 without evidence for ischemia. Chest x-ray is normal. CT of the chest is performed and one of the images is shown. Other images show that the ascending aorta is normal. The most appropriate initial management is. Okay, well, if the ascending aorta is normal, uh, that means this is not type A. So what they're saying is that this part, this ascending aorta here is normal. So this part is normal. So this vignette actually had a uh, image, but I couldn't fit it in. But it did show that um, there was a dissection in the descending aorta. So what that means is that this is a type B uh, aortic dissection. The aortic dissection. So now what they're asking for is initial management. So if you remember type B are treated with medications. So those medications are beta blockers and that's choice A. This one, number three, would be appropriate if this was a type A aortic dissection. 